Hi everyone, uh, welcome to search and analysis. In today's video, we will discuss about some common errors in AMOS modeling. So mainly we will discuss three main errors. So let's uh, discuss one by one. Uh, first of all, uh, let me clear it to you, the AMOS software is very sensitive. If you have some missing values or if you have some drastic errors in your data, then uh, you will see such kind of problems while running AMOS modeling. Like in this model, uh, the data we are using it, it consists of so many missing values. So let's just uh, run the model and see how uh, it will show us the results. From the output file, let yes, uh, we need standardized estimates, implant uh, movements, and residual movement. So this is fine, I guess, at this stage. Just calculate. So when we click calculate, we can see this is this error. It's telling us there are some missing observations. So the best strategy is uh, you should make your data ready before making any analysis in AMOS. If you want to see how to handle missing values, you can watch one of my video tutorial in that I have demonstrated how to handle missing values. But in any, for example, if you have the data and you you must want to uh, use your uh, original data with the missing values in MS, what you can do. How to remove this error? While selecting this output option, uh, what you can do is just go to estimates, uh, estimation, and in estimation you can see this option estimate means and intercept. So we just click this and then rerun and yes now you can see that uh, the model is successfully run and we have all the results related to estimates and model fit. So if you have the missing value uh, values and you still want to use the same data so this strategy is very helpful. So let's discuss about next error. For this purpose, we, uh, we will uh, open a new model. And so this is a new model we have and we want to uh, estimate the model fit. So just go again the properties and in output we need you know, in a standard estimate wide moment and yes residual movements as well so it's certainly enough to you that the requirements you have just click them and just run and so this is the error too in most of the cases when you uh, see such error the observed variable jc is represented by an ellipse in the path diagram so how to remove this error just go back to your diagram and just rename because it is telling us there is some problem with uh, this name JC just rename it and when you will rerun you will find it it become work in the working condition so what we can do as example we just add dot just to make the changes in its name in the name of the construct so we just change it, change JC into JC dot, and we are going to calculate it again. Just recheck. We have the options. Okay, what we need? Start by estimate, residual movements, and modification analysis, and calculate. And now you can see, after you know. Making the changes in the name of this construct now we have successfully come up with MS output and from here we can see the estimates and model fit. So this is how you can remove this second error.
Well, let's discuss about error number three. This is the model we have, and we are interested to calculate the estimation of model fit. First, we need to confirm whether this, the required options are checked standardized estimates, the digital movements, and modification indices. After that, calculate estimations. Estimates. Just click it. But in this case, when we click this calculate estimate, um, the model didn't uh, work and we didn't come up with any output. So when you will see such kind of error that after clicking the calculate estimate, uh, your model is not working, you need to go back to the model and see if now, at least one item of your construct should have this regression rate 1, otherwise your model will not work. Like in this example, we can see, uh, in case of TF, we have one item that consists of regression rate 1. But in case of this JC, uh, there is no regression rate of 1. So we need to assign regression rate of 1 in order to make in working uh, condition right so what we will do just click any of this uh, arrow and after that you will see this page and here in this tab you can see the regression rate and we will assign it one when we will assign one you can see now the one item that contains this regression rate one and now when we will just run it output standardized estimate and residual movements and modification indices and just click calculate estimates you can see that our model start working but we have like unstandard estimate and in these two options you can just uh, click the standardized estimate in order so to see the standardized estimate results and if you want to see the outputs, just click this option and here you will get the output of your model. Estimates model fit. So this is how you can remove these three common errors in Amos modeling. Well, I hope that this video will be helpful for you in running Amos modeling. If you like the video, please like and comment. Thanks for watching.